Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is complex numbers. We're continuing our lesson on solving equations with complex roots. This is example 3. Our problem reads, solve quantity x plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 27. At the top of the screen I've added the cube roots of unity. For the equation x to the power of 3 equals 1, the three solutions are 1, negative 1 plus i root 3 over 2, and negative 1 minus i root 3 over 2. Going to our algorithm, step 1, identify factors. In this case, we're going to use the factors from the cube roots of unity, so I'll simply note unity in this case. The clue that we're going to use the cube roots of unity is that we're dealing with an equation that's a cubic with no quadratic term and no linear term, simply x to the power of 3 and a constant. In this case, step 2 does not apply. We already have a starting point for our three solutions. Those are the roots from the cube roots of unity. Let's go to step 3 and we'll adjust these roots for our required solutions. First, a manipulation of the equation. We're working with quantity x plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 27. This is x plus 2 equals the cube root of 27, which is x equals. I'm going to manipulate the cube root of 27 to be the cube root of 27 is 3 times the cube root of 1. The plus 2 on the left will subtract from both sides, so on the right we have a minus 2. The importance of the cube root of 1 is the connection to the cube roots of unity. Going to the equation at the top of the screen, x cubed equals 1, means that x equals the cube root of 1, which produces three solutions. We want to connect those three solutions to our equation. So we have x equals 3 times something minus 2. A second solution, 3 times something minus 2. And a third solution, 3 times something minus 2. Those somethings are the cube roots of unity. 1, negative 1 plus i root 3 over 2 and negative 1 minus i root 3 over 2. Simplifying our first solution is 1. Our second solution we'll work through in two steps. We'll end up with negative 3 plus 3 root 3 i over 2 minus 4 over 2. This will simplify to the real part of the complex number is negative 3 over 2 minus 4 over 2 is negative 7 over 2 plus the imaginary part of the complex number 3 root 3 over 2i. Based on the complex conjugate root theorem, we see one complex root, that's our second solution. We need another complex root, which will be the conjugate of the first complex root. So I'll go directly to the simplification of the third solution. The real part of the complex number will be the same, negative 7 over 2. The imaginary part minus a change of sign, 3 root 3 over 2i. We'll end this video here, and when we return we'll look at a fourth example of solving equations with complex roots.